Much. Any further discussion? Representative Ward, please. Speaker, I rise in support with please. some observations and some reservations. Please proceed with reservations. Speaker, I commend the uh, Chair of Finance not only for his speech but for the way he has commanded the ship or if he's in the canoe, he's got his paddle most of the time in the right direction. I have a few uh, things that steered us left, right, and center. Uh, unfortunately, the public is first going to look at the, the budget as, hey, why did it grow? Everything is tough. We've raised uh, almost $600 million worth of taxes. Why has the budget increased? And I know it's non-discretionary funds, but I think the obligation is that we explain to the public these are automatic increases. But I think that's, that's a point of vulnerability. Uh, this, I think the second thing is that the commitment and the effort to balance almost $4 billion over the last three years, no legislature would ever desire as their marching orders to have to do that. So it's a tough time to be the chair of the Finance Committee. It's a tough time to be in the legislature to know that your job is basically a slicer or a tax raiser. Speaker, you know our side of the aisle said, okay, let's slice, but let's not raise taxes. Uh, I think the chair has become a master at slicing. And it's tough. And people don't want to do that, but it has to be done. But it's where, Speaker, I want to emphasize the other side of the, the pie, and that's the growth of it. We do not have a vision in the state to grow the pie. We've been able to cut it into smaller pieces, but we haven't been able to grow it. Case in point, the two opportunities that many of us had our hearts set on was the aerospace industry to be launched. There was no money, even though it's got a new structure. There's no money to really get it off the ground, so to speak. Secondly, the movie studio industry. We're going to give tax credits to get them on Maui, to get them here. Uh, on Oahu. That fell off the table or got pushed off the table Friday night. So in terms of a vision, I think we have a deficit about where we're going in terms of growing the pie, Mr. Speaker, and it's a very serious issue. Half of our kids in our public schools cannot afford to pay for lunch. 47% are either on a subsidized full or partial uh, grant from the state. We need a business model that grows the pie. And, you know, during hard times, we've got to uh, be a slicer and get everybody a smaller piece. But it's in that area that I would suggest, Speaker, we can do much better. And quite frankly, if regardless if it's whether the governor's budget or the House's budget or the Senate's budget, unless this economy turns around, we are in deep, deep kimchi. So, Speaker, let's grow the pie. Let's do positive things for our economy. Let's remember the fiduciary Hippocratic Oath. Do no harm to Hawaii's families, do no harm to Hawaii's jobs, and let's not stall the economy. And Speaker, with $600 million worth of new taxes, stalling the economy is a very big reality. And that's what some of us fear as the result of, result of this session. That might be coming down the line. Having said that, Speaker, I know there's a way to right-size government, to put Hawaii back on track, to steer the canoe in the right direction, and that's for the pie of Hawaii to get bigger, to get us more prosperous. We got the brains, we got the culture, we got the entrepreneurial ingenuity to do it. We can do it, but it needs the political will on this floor. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much.